Well, you might expect me to show up any place that uh, one of the key points is a reminder that Tom DeLay actually was convicted. <laughs> uh, but actually, the reason I came here this morning was, and why I'm personally supportive of, of PAC Plus, uh, it uh, goes beyond that. And I, I just want to raise three points that, and uh, to kind of underscore some of the things that have already been uh, said. Uh, first, people ask me all the time, uh, what's the antidote uh, to the big super PACs whose sole reason for being is to kind of produce money to run negative advertising uh, across uh, uh, the country from, from people like the Koch brothers and Sheldon Adelson and Foster Freeze and Bob Perry and the, uh, and the rest of this gang that is spending so much money uh, dispiriting people uh, running uh, 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 powerful attacks that produce, I think, hate and division uh, in, the, in the country. And I think uh, certainly there's a, there's a role for probably a new Supreme Court and, uh, and, and some legal changes, but I think the real antidote is democratization. That's what uh, PAC Plus is all about. Democratization of fundraising, uh, trying to go out and try to find uh, a group of people who are not uh, mega donors, but who can uh, pool their resources to change things and democratization of organizing try to uh, uh, pull the organizational muscle uh, together that, that has already been discussed. Uh, the second thing, just to kind of underscore what uh, uh, Julie Martinez Ortega has said, the rising electorate, communities of color, millennial, single women, professionals, is the future. Um, it is the new uh, American majority, it will be the new American majority. And if you had any doubts about that, I would say, look at what the right is doing uh, to try to deny people the right to vote. Why is it so high on their agenda uh, that uh, both at, at the legislative level and, and uh, at, at the organizing level to tr deny people the ability uh, to exercise the franchise in this country? It is because that majority is emerging and, and will uh, become the strongest force uh, in American politics. Um, and. Uh, uh, finally, I, I just uh, would note in terms of the geography and the, and the, uh, and the focus uh, of PAC Plus, I think that uh, the, the strategy of harnessing the power of democratization and the ha harnessing the power of demography um, uh, will work uh, in places that have been left off the map for a while uh, in democratic politics. We spend a lot of time uh, talking about uh, what's going to happen in, in a half a dozen uh, so-called so purple states, and I think one of the things that is really uh, critical in this effort is to go back to places like Texas, to go to Georgia, uh, to go to Arizona, uh, and to go to uh, red parts of blue states uh, and try to really work uh, to, to achieve uh, political success uh, and, and uh, progressive policy success uh, overall by harnessing this, this uh, these changes uh, in organizing style uh, and the changes in, in uh, demography. So I think this is really an important effort. I, I think we saw that uh, with the work that uh, Steve did in 2007, 2008, but this is, a, uh, I think, a substantial expansion of that, and I think it promises to change politics in the country, so I'm very happy to be here and personally support it.